Now let us see the operators required for the initial setting time. Number one, records needle operators. Yes, for the IS 5513-1969 with a needle of 1 mm square. Number two, mold. Number three, stopwatch. Number four, non-porous plate. Number five, a balance. Preparation of test block. Take 400 grams of cement into a parsley in dish. Add 0.85 times the quantity of water required for normal consistency. Mix the paste thoroughly and place the paste in the records mold which is placed on a non-porous plate. Start the stopwatch at the instant when the water is added to the cement. Level of the surface and place the mold under the Wicott's operator's needle. Lower the needle gently in contact with the surface of the test block. Quickly release the needle to penetrate into the test block. As you can see, the needle that is completely pierced the test block. That means that the initial setting time of cement is not at come. Repeat the process of releasing the needle at regular intervals until the needle fails to pierce the black for 5 plus or minus 0.5 mm measured from bottom of the mold. As you can see now in the reading, it is about 5.5 mm from the bottom of the mold, which indicates it has now reached the initial setting time period. Result. Report the time elapsed between the moment that the water is added to the cement to the time when the needle fails to pierce the test black as seen above as the initial setting time of cement. That is the time available for mixing and handling operations to be carried out in the field. Recommendations the initial setting time of cement should not be less than 30 minutes for ordinary Portland cement.